there are lots of steps. I think there's over like 3,300 steps to the top to get the best views. I'm Sammy and this is Tommy. In our last few videos, we explored the beautiful country of Slovenia. We visited the charming capital city of Ljubljana, went hiking in the Julian Alps, and watched the sunrise over Lake Bled. Today, we are in the country of Montenegro. What's up, you guys? So yesterday, we dropped our rental car off in Dubrovnik, hopped on a bus, crossed the border. The bus ride took a total of about three hours. We got stamped out of Croatia, so it was interesting because the bus had to get on a ferry which crossed the Bay of Kotor and the views were stunning. Now we're here in a new country, we're in Montenegro and we're starting today off doing the hike in Kotor up to the castle. Come early and you don't have to pay. So this hike's not supposed to be very difficult, but there are lots of steps. I think there's over like 3,300 steps to the top to get the best views and I think there's a little secret hidden entrance we'll have to find too. So the majority of the path is this rocky slope and then there's like one layer of stairs. So I'm assuming if it was like really crowded everybody would have to go up single file. All right, so after about 20 minutes hiking up, now we made it to the church. So this church is called St. Church of Our Remedy. So it was built back in the 1500s by survivors of the 14th century plague. And now it's just a spot everybody comes up to get this beautiful view of the whole bay. I am more tired than I thought I would be. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's a cool view. Let's head this way and check out. Sun's about to come up over that edge. Wow. That is where we're heading. Woo, so ways to go. We stood there just fine. I know. Are you ready for that increased risk? So we started way down there in town. So many switchbacks. We're getting closer. We made it to the port. There's some more stairs to go up. All right, we are on top of St. John's Fortress now. The views up here are amazing, it's so cool. It's more crowded than I thought, especially getting up here like 7 a.m. Everybody's trying to beat the heat, I guess. I can't imagine doing it in the day in the summer because, woo, it'd be hot during the day. We are heading down now. It took us about an hour to get up here, and it's a workout. <laughs> yep, so we're looking for this little hidden church. You can see it right over there, and I read you have to crawl through a window. Now we gotta hike down and check it out. All right, Tommy is going on his own. I'm gonna stay here in the shade and wait for him. I love how this church has the grass roof. It's so cool, it makes it so different. All right, made it down from the bottom of the hike. It was definitely a couple hour journey. It was so worth it, the views are awesome. 
It is really hot though, so get here early or late in the afternoon, and that way you don't have to pay too. Okay guys, so this morning we did our hike up to the castle. I'm a little embarrassed to say how much it wore us out. We had no idea it was so steep. So after the hike, we went back and laid down for a little bit, and now it's dinner time. <laughs> So we are going to go into town. We saw a really awesome looking barbecue place. We're gonna go get some food, explore Old Town, and have a nice chill evening. <laughs> So we are eating at this place called Tanja. It is a famous restaurant here. I read tons of reviews on it. It was highly recommended and it's super affordable. So it's pretty cool. You walk inside, they have all kinds of meat set out for you to pick and choose from. And they grill it up on the back grill. And we're enjoying it with a couple IPAs. Salud. We are super excited to try this place out. It better live up to the expectations now. So we just got our meal and we ordered the mixed meat platter which I think comes with chicken, pork, tabaki, which is like ground beef, and sausage. We also got two coleslaws, three different sauces, french fries, and some very ripe tomatoes. So we're, I'm super excited to dig into this. This whole plate only costs 12 euros, and it's definitely enough for both of us to share, so that's definitely good value. I wanna try some of these sauces really quick. Mmm, a spicy hummus, yum tomato-y, also kind of spicy. And this looks like a yogurt dressing. The yogurt is super cooling against the spicy flavors. That's super yummy. I don't know which meat I want to get first. Those ladies looked like they knew what they were doing. They were in there grilling up and I was like, dang. I went in for the chicken first with the spicy hummus because that sounds like the best combo. Mm. That's so good. That chicken is grilled to perfection. Okay, now I'm gonna try the sausage. I'm not really sure which meat goes with which sauce the best. I guess that's the fun. You can just try them and pair them all together. But I really like the yogurt dressing. Mm -hmm. mm, that sausage is so good. It's kind of spicy. We just finished our dinner. It definitely exceeded our expectations. The meat was so tender. I think my favorite was the sausage. That was the smallest portion we got, but it was so good. What was yours? Same. Both of our favorites was the sausage. And the spicy hummus? Yeah, so the spicy hummus was so good and the sausage was so good, so we noticed they make sandwiches, so we figured tomorrow we're gonna get the sandwich, for sure. <laughs> and you can make your own, so we'll get it with the sausage and the hummus and the really good bread. Put it together, perfection. <laughs> All the ways you blow my mind, yeah. People always told me I need someone like you, someone who That's a big bench. <laughs> This one is an English here. You want very, very. Yeah. Yum. Strawberry, raspberry, blackberry, cranberry. Mm. Thank you. I got very berry. I mean, I don't think you can get any fresher than he poured the cream right on top and all the berries and mixed it all together. That's tart. That is so good. So it's pretty cool how they make these. First with mine, I got the banana man. The banana and the biscuit and they chop them up. And he's pretty quick too, which is cool. He's put on a little show for us. And then he kind of lays it out flat and then cuts it up into little pieces that roll over, kind of like a mini cinnamon roll. And you put chocolate syrup and some of that biscuit over top of mine. Time to try it out. Oh, it's so good. We haven't had dessert in a while. And this is the spot. Might have to go back for seconds after this. No, but it's delicious. So whoever wears those clothes, that's who sits on that bench. That's the same person. 